Catherine Kealoha's name has once again popped up in a criminal case, one that's supposed to go to trial this week involving a former Honolulu police sergeant. Sarah Madison joins us with more. Sarah? Joe, before that trial begins, attorney Megan Cow wants to get her hands on documents she believes will show that Catherine Kealoha may have tainted a DUI investigation. Sergeant Albert Lee, a Honolulu police officer, was charged with driving drunk and filing a false report after a crash in November 2016. Lee told investigators he wasn't driving but could not identify who was behind the wheel. His attorney, Megan Cow, tells us before the crash happened, Lee was called to testify to the federal grand jury against Catherine Kealoha. That's one of the reasons why Kao believes the Honolulu prosecutor's office is biased against her client. The documents that we requested will show that Catherine Kealoha had a vendetta, a vengeance against Albert Lee, and that's why this charge came about. He was only charged because of her vendetta. Kao tells us the documents she's requesting from the prosecutor's office will show that Kealoha was the head of the career criminal division when Lee's case was initially investigated. Kao says a deputy prosecutor under this division, overseen by Kealoha, was assigned Lee's case. The career criminal division never takes a simple DUI of a, of a defendant who has no criminal history. It's unheard of. It is not just the appearance of impropriety, but it is, in fact, not proper. The Honolulu prosecutor's office tells us it gave the court Kealoha's entire employment file on March 29th, as requested by the judge. A spokesman also highlighted that Kealoha was put on leave without pay on October 20, 2017, about two months before a criminal complaint against Lee was filed. Kealoha was also on sick leave starting April 24, 2017, and never returned to the office. It's been tainted so much, this investigation, that Albert Lee could never get a fair trial. Now, Kealoha and her brother were recently indicted on illegal drug distribution charges. In a separate matter, Kealoha and her husband, former police chief Louis Kealoha, faced charges of corruption and obstruction of justice. And as for Albert Lee's case, we'll follow up and let you know what happens. Back to you, Joe.